Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We did it. We knocked out 2021 Panini Rookies and Stars Football. Seven box, half case, random team break number one. All card ship. Big thanks to this group for getting into the action. We ended up selling out a lot of spots straight up, so I appreciate that. And we only had to do one, uh, one filler pack. All teams are in right here. And let's roll it and randomize it. One and a two, three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. Easy. There you go. After three times, we got Craig down to Jesse. One and a two, three times for the teams. One, two, and three. We got Houston down to New Orleans. All right, Craig with the Texans, Adam with the Steelers, Chris with the Titans, Jesse with Washington, Thomas with Buffalo, Evan with Chicago, Adam with Carolina, Brian with the Niners, Gail with the Vikings, Kevin with the Buccaneers, Ryan with the Cardinals, Gail with the Falcons, Craig, you got the Lions, Bengals, and Rams, Steve with the Jaguars, Martin with the Dolphins, Charles with the Jets, Jesse with the Chargers, uh, Charlie with the Ravens, Jesse with the Eagles, Chris with the Seahawks, Nick with the Chiefs, Craig with my Raiders. Charles with the Colts, Adam with the Packers, Simon with the Bron uh, Broncos, Simon with the Cowboys, Steve with the Broncos, Jonathan with the Giants, Adam with the Browns, Steve with the Patriots, and Jesse with the New Orleans Saints. Let's alphabetize by team here. And I'm going to flip back to the screen in just a second. So while you're considering trades, let's see which box, uh, which half we're going to do right here. There it is, Rookies and Stars. 2021. All right, so there's seven boxes right here on top. So we'll go one, two, three on the dice roll for the top row. And four, five, six for the dice roll for the bottom row here. We're going to select that blue die. Get a little more room here. And it's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to be doing the bottom row. So the top row we will save for next time. So I'm making a mess here, but mark those with X's so we know they're from the same case. And we'll flip back here. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. No deals done in Rookies and Stars, seven box, random team, number one. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. I appreciate it. When's the last time we, I don't remember doing too much of this. Two autographs and two memorabilia cards per box on average. Well, let's see what we got. Our ship situation here. All card ship in this. All right, first box. We've got a Zach Wilson. Dual Relic, sorry, hit the mic there. 
Uh, 110 out of 199. For the Jets, Charles. I'll randomize the Jets in this one. We've got Benjamin St. Eust to 35. Set that Justin Fields aside there. We've got Najee Harris, 94 out of 99, draft day card. And a Trevor Lawrence, Rookies and Stars. Rookies and Stars, Airborne insert. It's pretty cool. Those Jets there. Are those, those F-18s? Who, who knows their fighter jets? That goes to Steve. And the Jaguars. And got Greg Newsom autographed to 25. It's for Adam. Cleveland, this is for you. There's Tannehill to 49. We'll have our shipping team sleeve and top load those before they're sorted and shipped out. We're just, just in the interest of time. There's Ian Book. Book it. I don't know, I don't know if Ian Book's going to be the starting quarterback for the Saints this year. Who do you think ends up with the Saints? I think Jameis Winston's a free agent, too. Do they bring him back? It'll be interesting to see. That Ian Book, though, will go to Jesse. There's Trey Lance. Rookies and Stars to 99. Trey Lance is, should be taking over that starting job in San Francisco. There's Jalen Waddell to 199. Daniel Jones to 99. There's Mac Jones. It's Quiddy Pay to 35. Some kid reporter cards. I think I could use a different container for this. Next box. So I feel like in this off season, especially after the, the leak, whenever the leak calendar ends and every free agency or whatever all opens up, whatever that date is. Sometime in March. What's going to happen? What does everyone think? Cardinals. That, and especially with the quarterbacks. I feel like there's a lot of quarterback like movement that could potentially happen. What's happening with the Cardinals? What's happening with Kyler Murray? D does he stay? Does he force a trade? Does he go? I feel like, I feel like I've heard rumors about, does Matt Ryan get moved around? Carolina needs a quarterback. Just going down the list here. Denver's always been connected with quarterbacks. You know, what is Detroit? I guess Detroit has golf for another year or two. Yeah. Simon's asking, did you see the Rogers Instagram post tonight? It was kind of a it's kind of like a post that you would make, Simon, if you were if you were uh, resigning from your workplace, right? If you were retiring or re resigning. That's what it sounded like. Like a big thank you tour. There's uh, Rashad Bateman. It's a pretty fast 40-yard dash time. This is Kelsey to 35. So what does that mean? I think he he has to he has to be traded. There's Ronnie Perkins 99. Right. I, Simon's a Packers fan. Left you very confused. Seems like a retirement or a possible trade. I mean, what could you? What could you really get, I mean, for Aaron Rodgers? He was an incredible quarterback, but not getting any younger. 
What would it take? There's Cornell Powell. But Simon's also saying he's been on a big spiritual hippie trend lately, so maybe he is just saying thanks. Who knows? I don't know. There's Patrick Mahomes. Touchdown club to 25. Devonta Smith to 49. I guess one of the things I always wondered was, was like, what is what does Aaron Rodgers want? I kind of feel like, uh, I feel like there he is right here. What do you want, Aaron? There's Michael Gallup, jersey and autograph. Great American signatures. 73 out of 99. That's pretty cool. I feel like uh, the Ryan Gosling character in, in The Notebook asking Rachel McAdams, what do you want? What do you want, Aaron? A standing ovation? I mean, you get that. I mean, do you, you want... Do you just want more weapons? And you want more money, more weapons, and stay in Green Bay? What do you want, Aaron? I'm confused, too. Let's see what we got here. Stellar rookie signatures. J. A. Mar. Jamar Chase. Nice. He was pretty stellar. That is for Cincinnati. Craig Thomas. Nice. Pretty great season. Hollywood lagging behind a little bit. A little late with the redemption guess. Make sure you're watching live. Box. Another redemption. All right, so just got some cards left. You can make some guesses for bragging rights. There's big time jersey, 108 out of 199. Najee Harris, Steelers. It's gonna go to Adam. There's Jamar Chase right here. Great season for him. And there's a three out of five quitty pay. Yeah, sure you were. Charles with the blue horseshoes. Three out of five. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Got a Tua right here. What's happening with Tua? Maybe they keep him now. I don't know. There's Terrace Marshall Jr. Dual Relic to 139. Or to 199, that is. That's for Carolina. That is for Adam. Kenneth Gainwell to 35. Rookie Rush, Devonta Smith to 99. Star-studded, Trey Lance. 
not number. Got a Justin Fields there too. We got a Devin White jersey and autograph. Great American signatures. 99 out of 99. Tampa Bay. That's for Kevin and the Buccaneers. Clyde Edwards Hilaire. There's the number right there. 49. And again, our shipping team will sleeve and top all top load all of those before they are sorted and shipped out. Rookie signatures. Um, N, A, J, Najee, Najee Harris. Nice rookie signatures, Najee Harris. Uh, for Adam and the Steelers. There you go, Adam. He had a solid season. Do Steeler Pittsburgh needs a quarterback? Who's gonna go there? I feel like there's just there's just quarterbacking situations everywhere that need to be that need to be addressed. Like I said, Arizona, Carolina, Denver, Green Bay potentially. What does Houston do? I feel like the Colts were talking about moving on from Carson Wentz. Is that right for Deshaun Watson? They want three first round picks. Jeez, that's a lot. Meanwhile, the guy just lost a year of his prime. Right. Doing nothing. Unbelievable. What about the Dolphins? Where do they do their quarterback? Teddy's a Dolphins fan. I don't know, man. Because I feel like Brian Flores wanted to trade Tua, and yeah, they were like, Flores was not a and they guy. were like, no. So now, does new coach like Flores? Yeah, see, I, or a new I, coach like it was, Tua? His Flores is such a like discipline, such a like, uh, you know, guy with integrity. I, I would have thought he wouldn't want what's his face uh, from Houston, but apparently he did. He Interesting. Wanted he wanted Watson. He definitely didn't like Tua. He didn't want Tua. Does who's the new coach? I forget his name. Does he want Tua? They suck. Screw the Dolphins. <laughs> There's Zach Wilson. Elijah Moore, dual relic. So, Dolphins got to figure it out. The Vikings, do the Vikings want to move on from Kirk? I'm sure the Vikings would love to move on from Kirk Cousins. So, does Kirk Cousins go there? Go somewhere? There's Van Jefferson, who's incredible. Jalen Waddle's pretty solid, too. I'm just going down the list here. Saints need a quarterback. You know, and Giants, this might be the last year that Daniel Jones really gets a good look, a good chance. It's Antonio Gibson. Trevor Lawrence's potential finally may get unlocked, though. Here's Tillon Wallace to 25. Rookies and Stars autograph for Charlie and the Ravens. Right, yeah, Simon's saying, Simon's like, hey, I don't know if Rodgers would even get three first-rounders. He's got like four MVPs in the last 10 years. Steve Herrick and Trevor Lawrence to 149. So they've so Giants may have to be figuring something out. I think the Eagles have have talked about maybe moving off of Jalen Hurts, so there's that. His Steelers Big Ben retired. Niners have Trey Lance. I think might stick with him unless Rodgers somehow falls into their lap or Tom Brady, maybe. I feel like those rumors are are gaining a little more steam. There's a Monroe St. Brown, 75 out of 99, jersey and autograph for the Lions. That'll be for Craig. Um, Seahawks, what does Russell Wilson want to do? Is he in? Is he out? Buccaneers need to find a quarterback. Brady didn't want to be there anymore. There's Kyle Pitts at 35. Have, have more cap space than any team in the NFL. Really? Yeah. So what, what what does that mean? I don't think Wilson's a free agent. I mean, you you would be like you, you would sign Devonte Adams for whatever he wants, and then say, hey, 
you know, come come to well, no, then you recruit the quarterback. Then you say, hey, we got Devontae Adams and a, and a young Jalen Waddle. Yeah, Devontae Adams, he's what's he got? One more good year too. I don't know, I think he's got some more than more than that. Maybe Derek Carr, his old college quarterback, throwing to him, will want a Devontae Adams. Do the Titans want to move on from Ryan Tannehill? I'm sure the Washington Commanders would want to see a new quarterback there. There's a, the, who knows what's going to happen? And now Derek Carr is sitting here entering the last year of his deal, and he's probably going to be looking for big money. Because he's like, look at all these other unsettled quarterback situations. And here I am. I don't know, Raiders are going to figure out what to do with him. Are they going to pay him or are they going to keep him on a one-year deal, which would be kind of criminal? Who knows? This is, this is, this is, why, this is why even in the offseason, the NFL is exciting. A lot of drama, a lot of player movement. Some, some, some guys want out. Some guys want in. I mean, that's like half the league, over half the league, with like an unsettled quarterback situation, right? I mean, really, only the Bills with Josh Allen is uh, the Bills with Josh Allen. He's settled. Right, Joe Burrow's not going anywhere for, for Cincinnati. I guess Dak Prescott's probably not going anywhere for Dallas. Chiefs, Chargers. Yeah, Chiefs, Chargers are set. And I think that's about it. <laughs> Everyone else is like... Oh yeah, Ravens, Lamar Jackson not going anywhere. Who, do, who doesn't deserve big money, Jay? Remember, the market changes every year, man. Contracts rise all the time, and and uh, with leverage, with the kind of leverage Derek Carr has, this might be the best year for him to be signing or asking for an extension. There's a Trevor Lawrence relic for the Jaguars, and another Trevor Lawrence card to 49. So, it's not about what he deserves. But what the what the market bears. Whatever someone's willing to pay, whether it matches up with your evaluations of pay or not. Yeah, I guess Justin Fields is kind of locked into Chicago, right? But he's probably not going anywhere. But he's also not. He's also a young quarterback, so there's still question marks there. Him and Trey Lance. Well, the, the leash is probably longer for for those guys. I don't think they're going to be getting rid of those guys anytime soon, even with a bad season or two. Is Christian Barmore two forty nine because of the upside, obviously. Same with Mac Jones and the Patriots. There's Jabril Peppers to ninety nine. Sorry, the thirty five. That is where I get ninety nine. What's up, Rex? Just voted for best national pizza chain. Who's winning? Well, currently. Uh, we, we've had this poll up for four hours, and we've got 73 votes. Pizza Hut is in the lead with 33% of the vote. Domino's in second place with 30% of the vote. Papa John's with 25% of the vote, and Little Caesars with 12% of the vote. So if you want to uh, vote in our pizza poll, ladies and if you're watching live and want to join our pizza poll, check the chat. I think at the top of the chat there should be like a blue bar next to the... Uh, or underneath the break schedule, which will let you vote. No one's protesting the results, Hollywood. Chuck E. Cheese was intentionally not included. I don't think I've seen a, a commercial for Chuck E. Cheese, a national commercial for Chuck E. Cheese, in like years. So the criteria was major national pizza chains that regularly run national commercials. Not, not garbage like Chuck E. Cheese. There's 147 out of 199. 
Amon Ross St. Brown, DeAndre Swift dual relic. Jeez. What a joke. There's Matt Ryan to 99. Chuck E. Cheese so big they don't need commercials. Yeah, I, th I, th I think they're so big they think they filed for bankruptcy like a few years ago. Didn't they file for bankruptcy recently? Or are going to? Najee Harris to 25. Zach Wilson to 75. All right, two more boxes left, rookies and stars. Box got Pitts and Ridley. And I feel like the Falcons at some point will be looking for a new quarterback. New Matt Ryan. He's not getting any younger. There's Najee Harris to 99. Got Justin Fields out there too. Ramondre Stevenson to 35. Got a Trevor Lawrence airborne insert, 62 out of 99. There, Jalen Darden, Buccaneers, to 199, 137 out of 199. You know what Pizza House should do? Offer their bread and cheese sticks with pepperoni or sausage toppings. You're saying you don't like their normal crust? But you do like their breadstick crust? Whatever, whatever they use with the breadsticks? There's Kyle Pitts to 49. There's AJ Brown to 149. I, I feel a lot of people seem to like Pizza Hut, but... It, I don't know. just doesn't do it for me. There's Rookies and Stars, 4 out of 10. Uh, Talanoa Hufanga for the Niners. Not a Pizza Hut guy. I, I would lean Papa John's and then Domino's. It's out of 99, Terry McLaurin. The one thing I like about Pizza Hut over the rest is there you actually get pasta, anything other than pizza from a pizza place. You can find chicken Alfredo pasta elsewhere, Rex, I'm sure. I'm, I'm not ordering non-pizza items. Maybe wings, but other than that, I'm not ordering non-pizza items. Uh, there's Zach Wilson to 75. All right. Hollywood Quitty Pay? Third time? That's third time's a charm? No, no mention in the chat from Hollywood. We got Crusade signatures. I like that insert set. N. Maybe another Najee Harris. A, J. Yep, Najee Harris. Pittsburgh. Really? 
Rex, you're saying some diner in town doesn't have a good, like, Alfredo pasta? What's that? Rex lives in the middle of nowhere. T Teddy, he lives, he lives near... Wait, what, Rex, what's the biggest city next to you? Yeah, he's in Indiana. Um, I think he may be close to Fort Wayne, but he's in a smaller town. Oh, is he really? Yeah. I freaking guessed it. What? Did you say Fort Wayne? No, oh, I, I guessed Indiana. Oh, Indiana. Yeah, you're right. Terra Hope, does that does that mean anything to you, Rex? Alright, <laughs> fourth time's a charm, Hollywood. Quitty pay in this box. Now I feel I, I feel like there's a there's an emerging market in Rex's small town. I need to make like I need to start like a. a an Italian food food truck or something like that. There's Justin Fields relic to 199. Yeah, <laughs> that would be my name in Italian, I think, right? Giuseppe's Giuseppe. I'm fairly certain it would be. Terre Haute is about a four-hour drive southwest of Rex, Teddy. He had a flat tire there on a cross on a cross-country trip. What were you doing? Oh, when you were coming out here for the first time. Wow. So there you go on Teddy's drive to cross-country drive many moons ago to come to Southern California. A flat tire, and the old the old Honda. HRV, the old Honda HRV. That was a good. That was a good car. R.I.P. That's a 249. Greg Newsom. How many miles did you put on that? Not much. I only had it three years ago. At least. Here's Mac Jones to ten. Steve Wright with the Patriots. You should have. It smelled like farts. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. You know, you can't you can't get like the car detailed, Teddy. He'll, he'll clean that right out. There's Chuba Hubbard to ninety nine, Carolina. That's for Adam. Oh no, Teddy. What a what, what a scary spot to change a tire. Rex is saying Terre Haute is where the state prison is, and they still do executions there. What if, like, you were changing your tire, and this this gentleman appears out of the out of the wheat fields and says, "Hey, I can help you out if you give me a ride to the next town." Rex, are there signs out there that says "Do not pick up passengers"? Do not pick up hitchhikers. I've been I've driven by some uh, some prisons, state prisons. In California and way up in Northern California, 89 out of 99, Davis Mills, Nico Collins, Texans, Craig, that have had those signs out there. Do not pick up hitchhikers. There's Rogers, blue to 49, Heinz Ward to 149. And that, my friends, is that. Appreciate everybody watching and breaking with us. That was Rookies and Stars, seven box, random team break number one. Quick little recap. Hey, thanks everybody for the late night rally. I really appreciate that. It takes a group, it takes a team to make these group breaks happen and I appreciate everybody acting in concert to make this break happen. There may be individuals that don't want things to happen, that are negative, that are down. But ignore those people. And just do your thing. Buy spots, get into breaks, and we'll eventually get everything 
get, get everything going. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. That was Rookies and Stars 1. The next seven boxes are in the store right now as well. Check it out, jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.